yeah, against... <clears throat> I mean, it's the same stuff against the the, the angles comp did. Um, I think it's actually a really good match. I, I, yeah, I went over this with the angles last time actually, in terms of like how to play the Kiri Kiri poke stuff. Um, so like I'll have Moira as a play sort of a Kiriko, so that's just and that's Kiriko. Um, probably Genji over here, and then like Hanzo over here, and then I would have like Orion over here, and then like Ana or Babsi. So I put Ana because uh, I like Ana more. Um, here. So, like, we have three different angles. Um, or Genji can also play in here as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, like, essentially, we control this space. Uh, this space here. Which is what Poke Comps are really good at. Um, Kiriko will be supporting the Hanzo flank and the Genji stuff as well. And then, in the mid-fight, Genji can also rotate and drop down with Kiriko. Um, which is something that we can't do on the angles because we haven't got a Genji player. Um, that you, we don't have that. We have less divey stuff. Um, but, yeah, this is something that the angles can do. And then, in terms of neutral, again, we're winning this high ground here. We're poking out the enemy team from different angles, um, like this. And then, looking to rotate more deeply as the fight progresses. Um, that's basically it for the neutral. Um, it's bit, it's going to be a lot of stress on the Kiriko to do a lot of the heavy lifting for the map control stuff. Um, but yeah, the last, oh, thing, the last thing I want to see is, like, <laughs> Anzo, Kiriko, and Genji here, which is not terrible, but it's not a great map control. Like, we will straight up lose against, the, like, a, a main... Yeah. I may Ryan comp if you play like this, um, which is, yeah, not, not brilliant. Um, against Simrush, uh, against Simrush, it shouldn't be that bad, actually. Genji can dash out, um, but in, I assume either TP, if Arana gets TP'd on or rushed on, again, Genji's yeah. going to you know, dive backline, Ryanok can disrupt and, again, swing on the enemy backline or hold a shield, and then Hanzo can also eat the backline from behind as well. Um, so that's what happens if they're gonna they're gonna TP onto our honor. Same concept with uh, if they TP onto our Hanzo. Kyoko TPs away. Honor lands a big nade. Ryan will try and land big fire strikes. Genji can dash in and land you know some damage onto the Baptiste. Something like that. Um, but you're coming in from different angles essentially. Um, against dive. Oh god, what happened to honor there? Um, against yeah. regular against regular dive. She um, got killed. Yeah, for real, for real. Um, again, let me think. I don't see Winston here much, to be honest. Um, maybe like Winston... Again, it's the same kind of idea, I think. I mean, Genji still should, should still be fine. We're taking soft off angles, it's really the key thing. We're not hard flanking. Um, and we're just softening, softening up the, the, Ryan, the Ryan team, also the, the dive team before they dive. And then if I, I get dove again, same sort of idea. Akiriko will come back and peel. Our hands should be free. Um, and more importantly, against dive, uh, we should be winning out duels against like a Tracer. Um, against Sombra even, a lot of that will also come down to Kiriko, um, and what, what, what the Kiriko can do, Kiriko can do as well. Um, variations, in terms of heroes, can still be the same, so Goblord can play Baptiste, uh, I assume Tired can maybe play Brig, I'm not sure, um, but like, some sort of more sustained, more heavier backline. I think Sliver can play Orisa, I don't, I don't think that's too out of the ordinary, maybe Ramatra as well, um, or Queen even. Um, but yeah, it's many of the places stuff that matters the most. Um, yeah, and the map control on the high ground here too. Um, yeah. The nice thing about Genji, I've actually liked the Genji more than the Soldier pick. We ran Genji over the Soldier in the summer. Um, there's just more mobility, right? And if you go to third points, um, Soldier can't get to these high grounds, whereas Genji and Hanzo can. Um, and then again, you'll see, you'll see the same stuff, right? Genji, Kiriko... Um, and then Hanzo will still be on these high grounds. Ryan will be anchoring the corner, and then Ana can and be anchoring you know, from from behind as well, pushing cart or something like that. Um, so that's how angles or anglers comp would work, I think. Um, nothing else to mention. Maybe some like. Oh, what about the Chapter Queen in the like the little hotel room? So sorry. What if um, the enemy team plays Junker Queen like in the little hotel room to sw swing around to get our Anna backline? Oh yeah, that's fine. Right, so if they run like Queen Rush, like Queen Lucio, Kiriko, TP. Um, if that happens, then our right Anna needs to rotate around. Uh, yeah. and then we need to rotate around as well. Um, yeah, so we just need to rotate. It's in <laughs> Just make a circle. Oh, Legit, like, we need to move oh, around. I Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the Ryan will also just try and try his best to disrupt um, the Kiriko and the Lucio and, and the Queen Rush. Um, either, again, by shielding or just by swinging and then d drawing attention. You'd be doing the same thing on Arisa as well. Like, you'd be spear spinning, um, trying to get a kill onto the Kiriko, probably. Um, something like that. Um, yeah. But, 
But yeah, it is a bit worrying actually because if they if, say the queen again, I hate the the queen uh so much as a comp because they can have their call cool here and then they can they can have so much tracer lurking behind and then like pincer and then that that becomes really really hard to outplay. In that scenario, our Kiriko needs to be quicker with the with the TP. We need to be quicker on the rotate, and we also need to be putting immense amounts of poke damage onto these onto this core here. Like Shout needs to be forced early, Amp needs to be forced early, Suzu needs to be forced early, HP needs to be low. Um, that really needs to be key. Um, and also Genji is not great against this comp because, I mean, he can he can kind of die for the the Kiriko, but he just doesn't, he just doesn't interact with these guys or the Summer Tracer. Um, so. Yeah, he's not brilliant against it. But yeah, okay. um, I That's... think maybe what who would, be, who would be playing Genji? Oh yeah, Young Tree. Oh yeah, Tree was also playing. I think Tree was playing. Um, oh yeah, Tide can also play May. So I think May is actually fairly good because May can disrupt the rush, and then May's got high sustain. She can score. She's got one percent shot potential against the the tracer. Can force out Sombra. Um, so I think May is actually decent against this comp here. In that case, we'd have Tired. Tired would be playing May. Uh, Goblin would, would be playing Arnold or Baptiste, and then kind same kind of idea ish. Like we would pro we'd probably be pl be playing May. If we can find the icon, May here. Uh, you can either get a good wall cycle onto the queen, or we can save wall for the rush. Um, so so yeah, that's my, that might be a variation we want we might want to do. Um, so okay. yeah yeah. Um, that's basically I think that's basically all I have for angle. We would also be doing. I said we would be doing something similar. It kind of sucks for us because on angles we don't our, our flexibility is not great. Like we've got no sim player. Oh god, yeah, no sim player. Um, no may player. Um, no reaper player. There's no flex DPS essentially. Um, we've yeah. only got two hit scans, so yeah. it'd be a little bit of a, a sticky situation against Soma Tracer comps, which I think are going to be better. Um, next patch or this patch, right? Um, Somber looks pretty OP, I think. Um, and Trace is still OP as she normally is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see for sure. Um, would you want to pick up, because um, apart from Arisa, would you want me to pick up something like Sig? Because since we got like two oh, hit scans. Oh, yeah, Sigma. I forgot about that. Um, let me see. Because uh, apart from Arisa, I'm probably like the second most comfortable will be Sig for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just thinking right now because. In playoffs, teams that went Sigma did it as like a stylistic thing. You just have good all around poke damage. Um, you, the, your lack of sustain was made up by having Brig, Brig Baptiste in the comps. Like Uprising ran, but Uprising ran some shitty comp like Sombra Tracer Sigma Brig Bat. Um, some really really weird <laughs> hybrid comp. Um, I mean it was it was basically what happened in playoffs was uh, and actually I'm recording now.